Hey! If I'm yelling, it's because it's really loud in here. I got two trains going and they're uh, squeaky as heck. Welcome to Running Trains Live, associated with GBO After Dark. Thank you so much for joining. It's going to be a great show. We'll go for about an hour. Longer if things get uh, wild and crazy. I want to thank my moderators, my lovely wife, and Chris and Harrison, if you join us later on. If you're watching the replay, don't forget, I'll have chapters in the description so you can skip to the fun stuff and skip all the boring stuff like derailments and us teasing Dave. Uh, what do I want to say? Okay. Before I forget, GBU After Dark is the last Thursday of this month, which is the 24th of September. It's going to be a good show. Chris and I will talk about our new LRC cars, so join us for that. Next Wednesday is Community Roundhouse, if all goes well and there's no gremlins. This has been put off for a long time. It's supposed to be in August. So next Wednesday should be Community Roundhouse, and I think Vinny is hosting it. I'm not too sure, but check out um, your subscriptions for uh, alerts and reminders for that show. It's going to be a good one. Okay, before we get to the main event, which you can see in the background, I want to show you a magic trick. So I'm just going to spin you around to my yard. Okay, I'm going to turn on, let's see, number one. And I'm going to bring up my Kool-Aid train. My Kool-Aid locomotive that I got last live show from my lovely wife. Okay, and this is... I'm just going to set up for the magic show here. Am I back? Yeah, <laughs> How's that for a magic trick? That's the first time it's ever happened. Okay. So, the Kool-Aid train. The brake is on. Kool-Aid train is in brake mode. Train is moving with the brake on. What is up with that? So at first I thought it was my Santa Fe with the DC DCC little uh, switch of Maru, but then the Kool Aid train and all my trains do it. So I think it's my actual my uh, the tracks throttle. Is that weird? So I put it into forward. It goes forward. Put on the brake. Still goes forward. Is that normal? Chris Aaron says it's the boxes. Oh yeah? Okay. Hey John. Welcome to the LRC extravaganza. Okay, I'm going to... Actually, I had two cameras, like one on a tripod and then one freehand here. Sorry. Just refresh? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Check this out. Brand new shirt for my wife. Just arrived today. I got two of them. So this is a Via F40 
It's actually running on the layout right now. It's not the same number, but the exact same train. And my wife got it from Fine Art America. I'm hoping she'll put a link in the chat if you want to check it out. They have a bunch of stuff, just not trains, but other stuff. They can put on t-shirts and mugs and all that stuff. So I'm going to turn you around again. Total surprise, as always. Check the mail, and there's two shirts for me. And there's the other one, P42 Via, which is also running on the layout right now, right there. But this is the, I think this is the, yeah, it's the Canada 150 scheme, which I heard just today from Chris that Athern may or may not have the rights to now make a new P42 in this scheme. So I'll be getting that one because mine, I like it, but mine is was DC converted to DCC, thanks to Dave, A88. But there's no lights, no sound, it squeaks. So I would love a new one from Atherin in the 150 scheme. Hey Nathan, Harrison, welcome. Thank you so much. Okay. Now we're from our sponsor. If you like these posters that you see here, please contact Chris Ford at Hotmail. The fine art comes in Canadian Railroad and American Railroad. Just tell him what you want. He'll get it for you. $25 a poster, $35 with a frame. You must pay for shipping and delivery. But I love them and I still haven't put them up on the wall. Okay, let's... I gotta check my list. I made a list. I've got so much to tell you. Let's take a look what's happening at Line Estates. Remember, Drew used to live here in the forest. And he sold his house to the big developers. And now they started construction. The fence is up. Construction fence is up. We've got a cement truck coming in. They've cleared some of the trees. They've already started to dig a hole here. The dump truck has this, the dirt. So the first home will be putting up right here. But look at all the fence you get. That one, I think it was Kibri fence kit came with all that. So this is going to be the housing development here. I'm kind of liking this, uh, this scene, the construction scene. If I had a bigger layout, I would keep it. And of course, I'd add more dirt and more construction guys and lumber and more cement trucks. Any new kits? I do have a new kit. Didn't I show you it already though? Okay, one second, I'm gonna prop you up again. Sorry, Let's see if I can. I don't wanna shake that too much. Hey Brian, you ask, you receive. That's the, did I show you this last time? Well, I think I mentioned it on GBU After Dark. This is Walter's modern sectional house. I'm hoping to kit bash this into my parents' home. They have a bungalow. I have to add uh, my garage or their, their garage. But it's somewhat similar. Add a few things, paint it. Coming soon in 2022. That's when I'm gonna build this. Really, eh? Yes, Robert, I said kit bash. I'm gonna try kit bashing my first 
fall through skin. So we'll see. Our Wi-Fi's been acting up tonight, so I'm pretty sure it's on my end. This is the first it's ever happened. I've had good luck so far, but uh, it's too bad. We're surrounded by cement, so I'm not sure if the Wi-Fi signals are the, the best in here. So I've yet to paint the construction fans blue. I'm liking the gray. I must say, I like it. We'll see. The final scene will have one house under construction. I'll keep it like that forever and I may paint the fence blue, uh, but we'll see. But for now, this is what uh, it's gonna be. I have blue paint, Chris. <laughs> Okay, the moment you've all been waiting for, if you live in Ontario. <laughs> Thanks to Chris, who drove all the way to Otter Valley, which is like a six hour drive there and back the day of. Poor guy. Okay. So this is the, this is going way too fast. I gotta slow us down, one second. Yeah. I'm going to. I feel like I'm yelling too. I'm going to stop the other guy too here. Okay. Holy mackerel. So I'm yelling. Just so you can hear me. Okay, can you hear the humming noise too? Hear that? The humming is coming from the lights in the LRC cars. I think they squeak more on the turns, but anyway. So, let me uh, do a little runway here. So leading the pack, like I said, is the Via F40. This is from Rapido. This is my first DCC engine. This is the Renaissance scheme. Uh, some of them came with $10 bills years ago. <laughs> no ampersand tonight. I locked the doors. Precautionary. This first one I have here, I don't know if you can see it very well. I apologize. This is the business car in the green scheme. Again, these are all from Rapido LRC. Next, I have two coaches, different numbers in the green scheme as well. I'll do a close up after. This one has uh, the city listed on it. So Ottawa, Vancouver, St. Marie and, or St. Mary's, excuse me, in Sackville. There are other ones that have uh, Sarnia and, uh, Chris, where are you from? Brantford, Brampton, Barrie, <laughs> Buffalo. <laughs> I forgot what he got, like Hamilton. And the last one is the 40th anniversary car. The future is on board. Oh, hey, Tom. <laughs> I won't screw the cars. Don't worry. Eight rails wife loves your pointer stick. Ah, can you tell my teacher? So I got, uh, I got five new cars out of, I think, 24. I don't know anyone who got 24 cars. I mean, to get 24 cars, all of them would be just absolutely ridiculous It'd be crazy i don't know who would buy all 24 plus there are four cars in the custom that chris and lauren uh collaborated with and made so that's what 28 i mean if someone bought all 28 cars i don't know they're out of their mind it's crazy so let's do uh
Okay. I'll do a close up. Hey, Dawson. So, Dennis, you, you're missing four? I thought you bought all of them. So the wand actually turns the lights off. For a better full in-depth review, you can check out Chris's channel. He did a review on his cars. It's very well done. Hi, Jason. Oh, Jason. <laughs> Formerly known as, welcome. Welcome, mate. I'm gonna turn the lights off because the lights make a hum. So I got the Ottawa one because I live in Ottawa, obviously. There. So the light, the hum is gone, but the squeak. I can't get rid of until Harrison adds some of his nice oil, I guess, or something, or grease. Lubricant. So again, if you're just joining us, these are the five new LRC cars that I purchased, and Chris got them for me, so save me on shipping. So business, coach, coach, the 150 with Ottawa, and the 40. There's a whole slew of them. They also have the blue scheme 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 these are the old ones and uh, hi in Anthony these uh, are the original ones I have six of these blue ones that's on the stream so a slight comparison let's uh, Uncouple one of them. Oh, they're warm. <laughs> that reminds me. No joke, and Chris can verify this. I guess just, uh, Dennis and Justin can too. In the instructions for the LRC cars, it says that they might overheat and cause a fire. I am not kidding. And they've been running for about an hour now, and they're pretty warm. A little scary, no? Okay, so new LRC. Again, I apologize for the shaky cam. Okay. So a quick comparison for those who are interested. I mean, look-wise, the new LRCs are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. No complaints, the paint, uh, the details, just awesome. But as you can hear, they're a little squeaky, a little noisy. The old cars, the lights would flicker. There, see, can you see the flickering? These do not flicker. So pros and cons. Um, these cars, Roll super nice. Well, that one's not too bad. One of the what scenery? Brian, what am I missing? Um, so this one's not too bad. It rolls pretty nice, but one of them. Didn't roll very nice. So again, pros and cons. Chris says he likes the, uh, these come with rubber diaphragms apparently. The little things on the end here. And these do not. So I'm just gonna zoom over here. I think Chris, these are the two you gave me. And I know that because the lights don't flicker and 
the diaphragms are attached and the couplers are longer. So I think those are the two you gave me or I bought off you, I forget. I had to put the long couplers on the inside loop because the, the uh, curves are a bit sharper than the outer loop and the other C's were rubbing into each other and almost calling a causing a derailment. So, uh, is that everything? Oh, the couplers, a little disappointed. I was hoping to get the tempo couplers on the new LRCs because they're so nice. These aren't bad. So far, no issues. But the old LRCs, uh, not very good. So, again, the acoustics in here aren't great. So the, the squeaky... Even my wife said, whoa, that's a squeaky train. The wheel squeak is, um, and then you add the, the lights the humming, it's, it gets pretty loud. Pros and cons, but like I said, they look awesome. Okay, let's talk about the lights. Shoot, I just unattached this one. I wanna show you a comparison of the lights on this, the new LRC. Sorry, bear with me here. Okay, this is the diner car from Rapido. SMT wants to know how you say the cars are overall scale one to 10. How are the cars on a scale of one to 10? Ah. You know what, it's, it's tricky Harrison, because like I told Chris yesterday, I said, because Rapido is the only one that makes these, it's kind of like you buy them or you don't have them. And I really wanted them, so. And I probably would have paid even more. I like them so much. Like I said, they run behind my parents' place. They run here in Ottawa. Four, Chris, you get a four out of 10? Wow. I would need a, a rubric, like a scale, a point system, you know? The squeaking is really, at first, I thought, okay, I'll just have to break them in. But this has been running for like an hour now and they still squeak. So that's really annoying. The light hum, I can get used to, not a problem. They look beautiful. The lights are nice. Speaking of lights. So Harris, I'm sorry, I can't give you an answer. Not right now, I have to wait a bit. Not 10 on 10 though. Let's turn the lights off here, the main lights. Okay. Dennis doesn't have any issues with his. Really? Yeah. Dennis, you have no squeaking? He gives him a 9 out of 10. Okay. Well, that's good to hear. I'm glad. I mean, honestly, not, they're not all the same because this guy I know got a car that instead of it says Sarnia, it says Sarn or something. So not all of them are equal, were created equally. Okay. Nathan's asking you something over and over. I didn't see it, what's, what's Nathan asking? About doing a spider trick on me from Down to Dubby video. Oh, no tricks, Nathan. No spiders, no oranges. Okay, I'm not sure if it's coming up on camera, but can you see? This is kind of like a warm light like a yellow and the diner car has like a bright white. I'm a fan. Of... Which one do you like better? Diner or C? Squeaks don't hurt. Okay, are we back? No, not me. No? I really apologize for the buffering. I don't know what's going on. Hey, Sparky says you're back now. Gone again. Back, gone again. The Sparky's on. 
Okay, well, I might wrap things up soon then because I don't want to... I hate buffering, so... Yeah. yeah. Hey Dave, welcome. So I just want to show you the differences and the dyna car runs really nice, rolls so nice. I know it's a different type of car, but again, has the tempo couplers, I believe. Anyway, just my two cents. Overall, I love the new LRC cars. Worth the wait. I waited like over a year for these things. And the last thing I got, bye Greg, thanks for coming on, appreciate it. With my LRCs I purchased this Walther's Coach Bud Car and the Via Scheme. This is part of the uh, Great Canadian train that runs across Canada. Sometimes you'll see a Via train, a passenger train carrying one of these. It's funny because um, a lot of the local trains around here will have like the green business, a green coach, a blue coach, one of the fancy wraps, the, uh, the bud car, something else, and they'll have the P42 in the back. Hey, Drew. Drew, I'm so glad you could join us because guess what? I was running trains and there you are with your daughter, the rail fanic duo, train spotting, rail fanning. I almost drew a little mask on your face, but I thought better. So thank you, welcome. So yeah, this, uh, $110, 40 bucks. No lights, no squeaks, rolls well, looks nice. All depends what you want. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna try and run a train with all, oh, thank you, Sparky. You like that? Thanks. I'm gonna try to run a train with all my LRC cars. So chat amongst yourselves, it might take me a while to set it up because the old LRC cars don't have great couplers. I might put this guy in the back, we'll see. It was uh, unattaching, uncoupling by itself earlier. Um, oh, and Sparky reminded me of something. I did add, where's my, This is all new. I put the road in here. It's done. Just gotta do a crossing. So there's no crossing here, but I've been experimenting. This is just styrene. So far, so good. It's just sitting there. I haven't glued it in place. Just gotta find a way now to kind of ramp it up. So we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna set you down the tripod and I'm gonna try and set up a big train. Never attempted before on m, &M rails pulling uh, 11 to 12 passenger cars. This is gonna be new. I'm not even sure if my locomotive can do it. Hopefully there's no buffering. Again, I don't know why it's happening because it's never happened before. Send it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Duct tape, that's not a bad idea. 
So see, it's hard to connect the old RC to the new RC. I got to change the couplers on my old RCs. Sorry, Chris has to change the couplers on my old RCs. Six so far. Seven. It's like a puzzle, only certain ends will connect. What's that now, eight? I'm hoping they stay on the track. Like I said, this has never been attempted before. We've seen it live. Side now nine. She's struggling, she's struggling. A bad idea. Sparky says he runs passengers on his layout. Yeah. Um, but they derail because they're too light to make them a longer train. Oh. Sparky, these uh, these cars are pretty heavy, actually, considering. So Sparky says that his derail because they're too light, but these, the Walters, um, so the Walters bud car, that's light. But Rapido's other C's are fairly heavy. So pulling, I think, what, 11 cars now? It's going to be very heavy. I'm not sure, because I do have the incline. Oh, I'm Walters not sure it's going to be. What's that? Walters is what Sparky has. Yeah. Yeah, Walters are very light. I'm just going to try and get on a straight piece here so I can then... He only has two repeater cards, Sparky. Come on. You're being challenged by Chris. Because Bob's pulled like seven. The challenge is connecting these cards. 
You know that they have like um, Rubik's Cube challenges where they, you know, guys can compete to see how fast they can do Rubik's Cube? They should do a challenge on how, we, how fast you can couple these LRT cars. Hey! Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven LRCs. Here we go. Don't burn out on me now. Six, four, oh, one. Give it a more power, Captain. I'm at four. Four and a half. I'm gonna shoot off the go Five. Come on. Five and a half. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. I did. <laughs> Off camera, I'm pushing it. There we go. fast. <laughs> they keep the ring on my uh, duck lift. Yeah, it's not going to make it. Back on. Turn up the internet. Okay, we good? Back? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stop it there because uh, I'm getting warm. My train's getting warm. This, uh, the Wi Fi is acting up and I hate buffering, so I'm gonna call it quits. I wanna thank you so much for joining. I apologize for the Wi Fi. Out of my hands, what can I do? Uh, I know. Yeah. It's almost on fire. Should I keep going then? I hate the buffering. I just... Oh my god, Mark. It's on fire, it says. Yeah, it's... Okay. Pretty warm. Um, maybe I'll try attaching another locomotive then before I go. I do want... It's all good, Mark. I know. John's a good guy. Let's see what I Okay. All right, thanks for your patience. I really appreciate it. I, uh, one second here. <laughs> I might need a fire station, Brian. You're right, because things are getting hot in here. Oh, what else can I burn out? Let's put the Kool Aid train, see if the Kool Aid train. These aren't speed matched, but I'm hoping. Yeah, I missed out for the next 10 minutes. It just seems, George's son seems to be having the hardest time. Yeah. I mean, if they leave the chat because it's buffering, I don't blame them. I, I can't stand buffering either, so. Hey, 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 there we go. Keeps the railing right here. See if you can.
figure out what's going on. I think it's because it comes off a kind of a sharp turn onto the straight. Yeah, of course, because you're watching, it doesn't derail, of course. That's right, Drew, trains are going. This is the first ever on the M&M rails layout. Two locomotives, sorry. We got two F40s pulling a 11 car passenger train. Aw. Yeah, see? Derailed right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey! Still not good, I don't think. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. This is crazy. Pardon me? It's so loud here, I can't hear you. Swerve, he says, if, you, well, if you're using your phone, you should put it near where the modem is. Oh. Yeah, my phone, Sparky, my phone is uh, away from the modem. But, like, I've had live shows before with no issues. Never. So. What's that? Add one more car? Okay. You ask, you shall receive. Why not? We're pulling 11, let's pull 12. Actually, you know what? I don't think I can attach it. Hmm. This couple here is pretty bent out of shape, so I don't think I can attach another car. Sorry. Okay. Did it do last time? 604. So, this is what I'm going to do. Uh. I'll try three. So 604 is my lead engine. Then I'm gonna go 6401. <laughs> Add the diner car. Quote him. Okay, I'll do that, Chris. Thank you. Because my Wi-Fi in general has been slow today, so. <sighs> Frustrating. Yeah. Chris is my therapist, tech support, and train guru. My go-to guy. Therapist. <laughs> For trains. My train therapist. All right, let's add more cars. What the heck? Go big or go home. I'm gonna set you down here.
I'm having a hard time coupling these cars off camera here. Believe it or not, the diner does not want to cooperate. I can't sing because I don't get caught for copyright. So my voice would match the singers absolutely like, perfectly, and then I think it's a real song, and then. It's funny you should ask about backdrop because I was thinking of adding um, spin around here. That wall right there. I was thinking of continuing it because I think I know what I want. So when I do add backdrop, it's going to be that section right there. I just, uh, what's holding me back is I'm not sure if I'm doing a mountain in the corner. But once that's solidified, then I'm going to do the backdrop. So I think I like trees and mountain, keep it pretty simple, generic. And uh, yeah, the tricky part is finding a good picture and photoshopping and all that, all that stuff. Good question though. Okay, let's try and uh, hook up these cars. So I took one off because of the couplers and I added two, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Twelve passenger cars, two locomotives. Some idiot forgot to switch the switch, so everything derailed. Here we go. Business. Coach. Coach. 150. 40. Old coach. Old coach. Old coach. Old coach. Old coach. New bud car from Walters and the Rapido Diner car. And everything seems to be working. So thank you, Jack Jack. You're a lucky charm. Thanks for joining. Spark, you're getting booted off because you're underage. Sorry. Bring your friend with ID. Sorry for the shaky.
What the heck happened there? Oh, it always derails my duck lift. I don't know why. Yeah, they're, they're nice shirts, eh, Chris? Yeah, they're nice. Oh my gosh. Wee. You'll see you in a second. So one thing I've noticed with the LRC cars is because they have lights, um, the lights run off the track power, obviously. So if one derails, it causes a short and stops all the trains. Also, it's drawing a lot of power from my throttle and the track. Because I run two freight trains, there's no issues at all, but this, these guys are causing me trouble. I think they have performance anxiety. Can you have one engine on the f end instead of two in the front? That's not a bad, a bad idea, Drew, but uh, I am too nervous to try that. Or am I? Oh, you know what, Drew, I won't do it because if the train derails, then <laughs> Like this guy stops working, this guy might start pushing all the cars forward and then I'll have a real bad jam up. It's a good idea though. Okay, track power on. My good sandwich, yeah. Who is running now? Hey, and if you're joining late, check this magic trick out that you might have missed the start. Forward, train's going forward, brake, train's going forward with the brake on. No strings attached. This is not a camera trick or editing. The brake is on and the train is going forward. It's the weirdest thing. It is madness. It's absolute madness. Don't derail. Don't derail. Don't derail. Don't derail.
I broke the brake for goodness sake. Don't derail. Don't derail. Give me one clean, good clean pass. Yeah. Woo. That feels good. Also for joining late, I'm gonna point out my uh, my scene here because this will probably change next time. Jack Jazz st says stop and do a decor check. Well, it's getting late, Jack Jack, so I'm gonna do it later. You can see here they're digging a hole. For the house to go in there, they're gonna start. Oh, so far so good, Sparky. So this is where the, the house is gonna go. The first house, they're gonna pour cement. Yes, John, the zombies were relocated. We shipped them to Florida. <laughs> so the fencing's up for construction. So like I said before, I would love to keep this scene because I kind of like it, just add more to it. But uh, like I said, it's going to change next time you come in. You say six laps. Well, this is lap number five if I'm counting. So one more, we're good. This train makes six laps and Sparky 107 107 will send everyone a free t-shirt. Thanks a lot, Sparky. an hour thank you so much for tuning in and bearing with me with the buffering i'm not sure what happened there but i appreciate you hanging in there and sticking with me so thanks again for joining don't forget gbu after dark is in two weeks time the september 24th the last thursday of the month on chris's channel go over go home eight o'clock p.m eastern also next wednesday is community roundhouse so check that out the guys and i have a great show lined up for you if everything goes well hopefully next Wednesday, and again, I think it's on Vinny's channel. I'm not too sure. I want to thank my moderators, Harrison, Chris, and my lovely wife. I want to thank my wife for the nice t-shirts. Just came in today. Great timing for the show. So thanks again. Uh, I should be live again in a month with hopefully no buffering problems. So thanks again, and take care.